Let's take a look at coordinate graphs with decimals and negative numbers. Which shape is at negative 5.5, 1.5? Okay, well keep in mind that the x-axis goes from the left to the right and the y-axis goes up and down. So when we have an ordered pair, it's always in the form xy, and that means that the first number or the x value tells us how many to go right or left. We go to the right if it's positive and to the left if it's negative. The second or our y coordinate tells us how many to go up or down. If it's positive, we go that many units up, and if it's negative, we go that many units down. Also, notice we have decimals in here. Even though we don't have decimals on our graph, if you take a look, our units are going by one on both the x and the y axis. Since our decimals are 0.5, that tells us it's gonna go halfway between two numbers. So we're gonna estimate where to put those values. So negative 5.5, 1.5 tells us to go left 5.5 and then up 1.5. So from the center, 0, 0, I'm gonna go five and a half to the left. So one, two, three, four, five, and then another half is gonna put me right in between negative five and negative six. From there, I'm gonna go up 1.5. So up one, and then that 0.5 tells me to go up another half. So I'm gonna land in between the one and the two. So for 0.5 decimal values, they're indicating to go halfway between the two numbers they fall between. So for example, 1.5 was halfway between one and two, or negative 5.5 was halfway between negative five and negative six. And then of course we can see we land on our triangle. Which shape is at negative six, 2.5? Okay, well negative six, 2.5 is telling us to go six to the left, and then 2.5 up. So two up, and then 0.5 is gonna be another halfway between. So I'm going six to the left and then up, halfway between two I'm sorry, and three. So we're gonna land on our star. Which shape is at negative 2.5, negative 3.5? Okay, well this tells us to go two and a half to the left Okay, so one, two, and then another half puts me in between, right halfway between the negative two and the negative three mark. And then I'm gonna go down three and a half. So I'm gonna go down one, two, three, and then halfway between the negative three and negative four mark. And I land on that purple parallelogram. Which shape is at nine, 6.5? Okay, so that's telling me to go nine units to the right and then up one, two, three, four, five, six, and another half. So that's gonna put me halfway between the six and the seven. 